Hey, it's Kevin. Welcome back to another No BS Social Media Chat. The, the title of our post, well, is something you can take in a lot of different ways this week. It's just simply the word STAY. And notice it's all in capitalization as an exclamation point. It's almost like when, when you're telling a dog to sit there and stay. I sometimes get a feeling that's what our social media platforms are trying to do to us. They're doing whatever they can to get us to stay on that social media platform and not use another one. You know, you, you all the time you'll see, whether it's Facebook, uh, incorporate things that Twitter's doing, Twitter incorporating things that Facebook's doing, all of them incorporating video, which YouTube was doing, Instagram is now incorporating features of Snapchat. Because at the end of the day, all of these social media sites want you to spend not only more time on their social media site, but they want you to spend all of their time there. Now, you and I both know that's not realistic, but what they're trying to do is, is they figure if they can create some features that are similar to you know, other sites that, that are taking your time away, maybe you won't go to those other sites quite as much. Everybody's trying to steal from Snapchat right now because Snapchat is the hot, new, fresh thing, especially when it comes to young people. But at the same time, they don't want you leaving their platform. You know, Instagram is all worried about their traffic. So, I mean, where Instagram at one time was all about square pictures, and then it was like, well, we'll allow you to have pictures that are horizontal or pictures that are vertical. Or then we'll also now allow you, and this came recently, we'll allow you to do videos. And not only do little short videos, but now you can do extended videos. And now you can have albums. Now you can post up to 10 pictures at one time, and you can flip through them that way. And you've got the, the Instagram stories in there. And again, I remember when Instagram was just about posting a square picture up on a site, and you looked at it on your phone, and you either liked it, and you commented on it, and you moved on, and you saw everybody else's. Now it's impossible to go through Instagram and, and just enjoy pictures because there's so much more. Because, they, again, they want you to spend more time there because... That attracts more advertising. Same thing with Facebook. Facebook is always notorious. They're, they're much like a, a big company, much like they've always accused Apple. Apple was not the first person to have an iPod, a music player, an MP3 music player function. Uh, the Zune was in before that. I think the Rio was on before that as well, too. Um, they just did it better. The, Apple is, always, is not always the first one on the table with new technology, but when they do, they come in and they do it one better than everybody else. And that's what a lot of the prevailing social media sites are these days. You know, Facebook came in and said, okay, we're going to be sort of what MySpace was, but we're going to target ourselves strictly to college people. And we're not going to let you adorn your pages in the same way that MySpace did with all that junk code on there that just made it impossible to navigate through the site. And then it was like, well, okay, now we're going to open it up from not only just college students, but then to high school students. You've got to have an EDU email address. And then after they reached the saturation point there, they said, well, we'll, we'll let some older people in. And now Facebook is, well, the 600-pound gorilla. Now everybody's on Facebook except the kids who are bored because they don't want to see their moms and their dads and their grandparents on Facebook. They liked having their own little place. So they ended up going for a while to Instagram. And then when Instagram got populated by all the old people, they went to Snapchat. Now, I don't necessarily know if we're going to see a lot of old people on Snapchat, but I know with Snapchat's new IPO this week and they're on the stock market, they're going to do whatever they can to keep growing, keep building, and keep, add, keep adding new functions. And more importantly keep adding new users. So all of these social media platforms, the big popular ones, are doing whatever they can to keep you there. You know, it's funny, at one time there were so many different versions of MySpace, so many different versions of Facebook, so many different social media sites that were very similar. But what happens is if they don't have enough traffic, they fall by the wayside. If they don't grow fast enough, they fall by the way. So really, how many social media sites are you using? Five or six? Two or three? It's not like you're using 20 social media sites. It's not like you've got 20 little apps that you're constantly going through and taking your turns on. So they know they, they've got to do whatever they can to keep you engaged, to keep you on their page. That's the most important thing. But don't feel you have to use all of those tools if they don't interest you. As I've said, I, I've got clients who use Instagram stories. Great. Have a good time with it. I don't like it. I'm not interested. I've not used it. I tried it. I went, okay, that's not for me. And I moved on. I like Instagram for pictures. I don't use every particular, I don't, I don't feel the need to sit here and do these Facebook Live every single week. I guess I could. But I think the way we set them up now on YouTube, use them on the website, and then repost them later on Facebook, it works for, for our needs. I could be wrong. Maybe I haven't done enough study yet. But it's funny, everybody now, because you can go live on Facebook, feels the need to go live on Facebook, and you don't need to. Don't feel because a social media site is trying to get you to stay there, you have to use every single function if it doesn't meet your needs. Whether, if it's not building your personal or business brand, don't use it unless you enjoy using it, unless it's something you want to use then go ahead and use it. And just remember, you're using it as a hobby. You're not using it to build the brand. We're back next week. You can go.
Um, we'll be back with another No BS Social Media Chat. NoBSSocial.com is the website. If you want to get a hold of me, you want to talk more about it, again, free to talk. Man, I don't, I don't charge for that. I'd love to talk social media with anybody. My email address, my phone number, they're all coming up here at the end of the video. We're back next week with another No BS Social Media Chat. Thanks.